this video all about my um, summer trip to New York. I'm here just uh, on a holiday, so I thought, well, let's be productive, let's do something creative. So uh, I'm just going to take you on a, a, a little trip, a little tour around New York, um, and show you some of my favourite places, or some places that, um, despite me living thousands of miles away, uh, actually really mean something to me. Uh, a lot of them will be highlights from uh, Frank Sinatra's uh, life here in New York, some of his favourite haunts and places to go and, uh, and other places that I just think will be fun to show you. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, first off, I'm going to take you to the Hard Rock Cafe on Times Square. They've just turned that up as I've done this. <laughs> uh, I can't believe that I'm actually in the Paramount Theatre. I'm pretty much in the stalls, uh, and this is where Frank Sinatra would have played back in May 1951. Um, and this would have been just filled with his uh, Bobby Soxers, his fans uh, creating riots whilst he did seven shows per day, seven shows a day. But they weren't that long, they were only uh, five songs long. Um, and it would have been right there on the stage. So um, it's a big thrill for me to be here. And that's why this is number one on the list because this is where he was, he had a residency here and uh, some huge names like um, Tony Bennett, another one of my big heroes, would actually come to see him as a fan, would come to see Frank Sinatra just as a fan. But the seven shows were not long, they were only five songs long and I've actually just googled what the songs were. It started with uh, When You're Smiling, uh, then he sang My Romance, Hello Young Lovers, Nevertheless, um, which I know uh, from Michael Bublé doing it with the Papini sisters uh, and uh, What Do You Think I Am uh, and Oh Look At Me Now which is a medley so five songs uh, seven times in a day um, it's got, gonna have to have been a pretty special experience Now I'm here at a place called the Village Vanguard, which is in Greenwich Village, uh, and it was opened in 1935, which is actually before my granddad was born, and he's old. Uh, it was opened by Max Gordon, who managed it um, up until his death in 1989. At first, it featured many forms of music, such as folk music and beat poetry but it switched to an all-jazz format in 1957. It's one of, if not the, most famous venue in the history of the genre. It seems to be the venue that's hosted the most live recordings, booked the greatest musicians, and more than any other, embodied the creative tension between history and innovation that sparks the best jazz. Now, on each of my trips here to New York, uh, I haven't been able to stay away from this place. This is the Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller Center was named after John D. Rockefeller Jr. It represents a turning point in the history of architectural sculpture. Famous for its annual Christmas tree lighting, it's a large complex consisting of 19 high-rise commercial buildings. But nowadays it's probably most famous for the NBC studios producing The Late Show with Seth Meyers, uh, NBC News and my favourite, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon.
Well, this one's a bit of a cheat because this is one that uh, didn't really mean much to me before I saw the show. It's actually Broadway's longest running American musical and it's so easy to see why. Uh, the show really does blow the film out of the water and um, it's just terrific and I was lucky enough afterwards to meet some of the cast who are just lovely people and I really recommend coming to see Chicago in New York. At this juncture, let me quickly let you know that I also post it daily on my Facebook, Instagram, and there are a couple of fun videos going up here on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe. And why not share this video with someone you know who loves New York too? Okay, I'm here on uh, 52nd Street and um, there's a very important building for me just right behind me. Uh, it's called the Russian Samova. The Russian Samova was once Jelly's Saloon, a popular celebrity hangout in the 1960s. Frank Sinatra frequented the lounge and it featured in several films including The Manchurian Candidate featuring Frank Sinatra and Angela Lansbury. And here's a very short video of me singing there. I hope you enjoy it. You bring out the rain, so stop your sign. Just be happy again, keep on smiling. Lastly, but by no means least, Central Park. And I see you do your business in front of my window pane. They built the park within the city to bring people together, people from downtown and uptown, into the middle uh, to this Central Park. And it's only a feeling I have Well, I see you forgot I see you don't care It's enough to give me chills And isn't it enough You give me now And I have watched the all I've actually added a link in the description below for a video of John Baptist and Stay Human who are the live band for Stephen Colbert and The Late Show here in Manhattan. And they're taking you on a tour whilst playing their instruments of Central Park. So be sure to check that out. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed me taking you on a short tour of New York. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and watch these videos right now.